training Air Wing 1 at Naval Air Station Meridian now has a new commander. It's been a bittersweet goodbye on base today. The previous commander also retiring. Twin States reporter Emily Erickson has more. In passing over the hangar, the commander of training Air Wing 1 has now passed on his duties. We're very engaged. We're very uh, much a part of the local fabric of life and the community really goes out of its way to make it clear that, uh, that that's what we are and to show us that in just a myriad of different ways. Um, and so it's, it's felt like home since I first arrived here and that's been the case the whole time. And we just know that we are a part of the fabric of life here and that feels really good. I'm looking forward to doing what, uh, what our job is, to get uh, America's best and brightest trained up to fly the fighter jets and, uh, and do what we need to do out there, uh, out there in the fleet, protect us and our freedoms. In passing on his duties to now Commander Gendrew, Mungus says he's most excited to be back with his family in North Carolina. I haven't been home on a weekday other than over the holidays, so I haven't seen a you know, Wednesday of a school week in over a year. And so just learning what the routine is and what they do every single day and how I fit into that again is, is going to be a lot of fun. Both men agree their careers of over two decades come down to two things, family and freedom. You don't get this far in this career without tremendous support from your family and friends. While we are at sea, we're focused on uh, keeping the country free. They're counting the, uh, the days until we come home. Reporting at NAS Meridian, Emily Erickson, Twin States News. Captain Jen Drew received his wings here at NAS Meridian back in 1999.